I mean, what is this all about? At the end of the day, you've got to sit back and think about this. You know, the UAE came on board for the Abraham Accords, and then the entire GCC decided it's time for a rapprochement. All of this down to the wire, right ahead of the Biden administration taking office. And now the Biden administration has said, okay, let's, you know, dial all of this back in terms of these arms sales. And this is at a time, frankly, when tensions are high in this part of the world. And even General McKenzie was out here scoping new areas in Saudi Arabia in which to potentially position uh, U.S. forces if they were needed. What's this all about? No, thanks for the opportunity to join you. It's, it's a real pleasure. You know, as uh, new Secretary of State uh, Antony Blinken said today, uh, and as spokesman at the State Department as well, it's fairly routine when a new administration comes in to hit the pause button, if you will, on uh, arms sales, particularly ones that were decided in the last few months of the previous administration, just to uh, make an assessment whether those arms sales are consistent with U.S. principles, uh, U.S. interests, and U.S. laws. And so on some level, that's what we see here. And that's uh, reasonable, I think, to most people. On the other hand, uh, I don't think it would be accurate to say that all is the same here. I, I think you're going to see more scrutiny applied, particularly to Saudi Arabia, but also to the UAE in terms of arms sales. But I also was encouraged to see Secretary Blinken say that, you know, he, he, what is true, and that is that the Abraham Accords were a historic and positive agreement. It's in the interest of the United States to demonstrate to UAE and Bahrain the benefits of making peace. Peace should be its own reward, but we want to help demonstrate the benefits of making peace with Israel so that they can in turn demonstrate those benefits to their own people and the other countries that are looking on wondering whether they should take the same step with Israel, uh, deciding whether it's in their interest to do so. And more broadly, right, the common threat in the region from an Israeli, an Emirati, and an American perspective is Islamic Republic of Iran. The Abraham Accords help us move toward a more uh, unified diplomatic coalition to pu push back on their aggression and also makes that coalition more militarily capable if if we carry this forward. That's the point, isn't it, Bradley? Because at the end of the day, I mean, none of this would have happened, uh, presumably, without, you know, the A-OK -okay from the Israelis, that they were comfortable with F-35s going to the UAE and more arms sales, you know, being made to Saudi Arabia. So at the end of the day, what is the signal that this sends to Iran? I think, uh, I think uh, Iran should be scared as heck uh, with the idea of a unified Israeli-Arab-American coalition pushing back on their aggression. And I think we need to move in that direction. But, you know, I, I, I'm a fan of, of providing our Emirati partners the, the, the means they need to defend themselves and be more effective members of the coalition. But there's some balancing things to balance here from an American perspective. We don't want this most advanced fighter in the world and the technologies associated with it to be leaking to Beijing or Moscow, number one. And number two, both as a matter of American principle and law, we have to make sure that we guard Israel's qualitative military edge. So I think uh, this will be managed. I think uh, robust arms sales will continue to the UAE. Uh, we'll have to watch the F-35 closely, but I think Saudi Arabia is in for some real tough sledding, particularly because of their activities in Yemen. Bradley, as a result, do you see any possibility that the terms of this sale might change or might not go ahead at all? You know, I, I think uh, uh, reversing the sales would send a, 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 a very unfortunate message to UAE and Bahrain. Uh, and uh, like I said earlier, others will be watching and that could inform uh, their decision making. So I, I think it is in America's interest uh, to demonstrate those benefits. And not all benefits need to be in the security sector, right? With their commercial and civilian benefits, tourism, trade, agriculture, and all that. But no doubt, I mean, when, you, when you've got uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran sitting ar across the Gulf from you, security is a top priority. And the UAE has wanted the F-35 for a long, long time. And they think as a result of making peace that they're in a good position to get it. So they're being patient. The Emirati ambassador of the U.S. is saying the right things. But if this drags on, uh, I could see uh, some agitation building in Abu Dhabi.